Paul, next week we're starting at the Iridium. Mm -hmm. It was like we had no idea, you know? Mm -hmm. And then we started, and then I did, you know, that was pretty much, the old Iridium was about four and a half years. Mm -hmm. And um, and like a lot of people would come through, um, and that's where I hooked up with Ricky Lee Jones. She, she was, uh, they came down, uh, and they were like, um, can Lou, she wanted to get um, Lou Paulo, the guitar player, right. and me to like back her up for a gig at Joe's Pub. Okay. And um, so we're like, sure, you know. So we, uh, she tells us a time to show up at Joe's Pub, and she doesn't show up. She's like, she she was like, finally, you know, it was supposed to be like a two-hour pre. Right, you know, she was right. going to have a gig that night. We were supposed to show up at like four in the afternoon. Sound And just, you know, kind of like go over some tunes, mm -hmm. figure out what we're going to do. And that was supposed to be, um, she was like doing like I think two weeks in a row and she, we were gonna be the following weekend we were gonna play. So it was like a week before. Okay. But she was playing that night. So um, we go in, she doesn't show. Um, shows up about 15, quarter to six. And she says, um, I'm sorry I'm late. I had to get my hair done, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and um, let's go over a tune. Oh, that's great, you know, we, we played like, uh, we played one or two songs, and she said, oh, it's going to be great. And she says, Paul, what are you doing later, you know? And I said, well, nothing. You know, she says, you want to come to the show? And um, I said, sure, I'd love to come to the show. It'd be cool. Yeah, I'd love to. And he says, no, I mean, do you want to play at the show later? And I was like, I don't really know your tunes, you know? I was, like, pretty, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I remember, like, the hits and yeah, stuff sure, like that, yeah. but not really. I wasn't, like, a huge fan or anything. Like, I didn't have the records. And she says, well, I'm basically just going to do my first, you know, the first two records. So uh, this was like 6 o'clock. The show was going to be 9 o'clock. Um, go over to Tower and just get my first two records and listen to them. And, and we're going to, you know, I said, really? She said, and I was like, you know, I had like no clothes on. You know, I was like very sloppy. And um, she says, no, it'll be great. Just, you know, get, get the records and listen. We'll, we're going to, you know, play duo. You know, wow. And so I was like, okay, I'll <laughs> nice try. I'll, I'll try. You know, so I got the records. I came. I was like listening to them, like just playing along with the songs. Mm -hmm. And then we did the show, and it ended up being like filmed. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, and it ended up on like sixty minutes or something. Wow. You know, like uh, three years later on some special, there was like footage. I was like, oh my god, you know. And um, and they, and it ended up getting recorded on some like that's like a live in New York oh, record wow. with like on some. Uh, and she says to me, um, like on the recording, it says, yeah, I just met this bass player, you know, before, like, we're, you know, like something like in the alley or something. <laughs> and it was just like, so, um, so it went well. And then, you know, after that, she called me and, you know, I, I subsequently like did, you know, almost nine years with her. Yeah, wow. And, um, and then like, that's how I basically broke off with Les because Les was, uh, I had to take off a Monday. Right, of course you can't. Do that. I had to take off one Monday, you know, and uh, I said you can't take off. And I was like, Les, come on, it's just it's just one week. I'll you know fill in, you know. And he was like, you know, really, mm. you know, he was like jealous. Yeah, well, you know, he was super jealous. Well, you went off with a world class Ricky Lee Jones. I mean, she was a recognizable star. Yeah, I mean, he had no idea who she was, but he was really? just. I mean, he was. You know, he's kind of in. Uh, I mean, at that point, he was 81. Sure. And he wasn't really, he was just, he's more aware of, like, more, um, just, like, kind of old-style jazz.